As we approach the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, I realized that I've never really looked all that deep into Perseus, the person or the faction. And I think with Perseus being such an important figure in Cold War and their Warzone storyline, it would be kind of hard to imagine that he doesn't get at least a nod or a full on mention in the upcoming game. And according to some of your comments in my previous videos, some of you believe that Vladimir Makarov could even be the new Perseus of the modern times. But first I want to find out who or what he is exactly to really understand the power that Perseus has over the world. Now, Perseus the faction was established sometime during World War II, and it would become a Soviet-based international spy ring and underground network of rogue military operators and espionage agents. The faction over the years would team up with a collective of anti-Western terrorist groups and criminal organizations that stretched all across the globe. Perseus and its allies looked to destroy Western influence in all global affairs. The ultimate goal for Perseus was to have the Soviet Union become the sole superpower of Greater Russia. And Perseus would be involved in many high-level crimes since it began, including the infiltration of the Los Alamos National Laboratory, which resulted in them stealing highly confidential and detailed information from the Manhattan Project in 1943. And a few years later, Viet Cong soldiers would attempt to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from the U.S. firebase ripcord during the Vietnam War's Operation Fractured Jaw in 1968 on orders from, you guessed it, Perseus. Now the man behind the faction Perseus would be known as Perseus, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> we never actually find out his real name, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. However, other names that this Perseus in particular would also be known as include the Russian Boogeyman or simply Monster. So he was a pretty bad dude, and he was also the main antagonist in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. He was the man that Russell Adler had been obsessed with catching for years. Every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Perseus was a rogue Soviet intelligence officer and spy master. Perseus would take control of the international spy ring and turn it into what it became due to his beliefs that the Soviet leaders were too weak and that the state itself would become consumed by Western corrupt imperialist and subversive influence. During the Cold War and specifically in January of 1981, Perseus acquired a nuke from Operation Greenlight and he would explain his plan to detonate all of the Greenlight nukes from Solovetsky in order to pave the way for the next part of his plan. However, his trusted ally Bell would be captured by an American strike team led by Russell Adler, who would brainwash Bell to extract information on the whereabouts of Perseus. After this, Perseus would transport the nuke to an abandoned facility in Cuba, where he had Theodore Hastings reverse engineer the detonation codes which would enable Perseus to activate the remaining nukes in Europe. Perseus would then shoot Hastings and flee in his helicopter. However, after this, Adler would be successful in breaking Bell and the latter would reveal the location of the elusive Soviet spy. Bell would tell Adler that Perseus was located in Solovetsky and the CIA would launch an operation to stop the detonation of the nukes and eliminate Perseus once and for all. The team would be successful in stopping Perseus' plan, but Perseus himself would evade capture. Now, two years after evading capture, Perseus would die due to cancer, and his prodigy, Vihor Stitch Kuzumin, would take over the mantle of Perseus, and he would continue the mission that the previous Perseus started. However, in 1984, Vicor would basically give himself up to Russell Adler after completing his plans, and here he would reveal that Perseus was never just a single person, but rather an ideology. Stitch explained that the deceased Perseus was not the first, and that he himself would not be the last, and then Russell Adler would shoot Vicor and kill him. That's where the story of Perseus would end, at least from what we can see. We can also assume that after Vicor was killed, someone new took the mantle and the name of Perseus, leading the organization to continue on their quest for power. Will this new Perseus appear somehow in Black Ops 6? I think that's a pretty big possibility, and it could serve as a way to tie the franchise of Black Ops and Modern Warfare together even more. Maybe whoever appears as Perseus in Black Ops 6 will lay down the seeds for the future Perseus in Modern Warfare. Which, like I mentioned earlier, some of you already believe that it is Makarov. We also know that this isn't all that far-fetched as Imran Zakaev had contact with Perseus in the past, and Zakaev even credits Perseus in radicalizing his hatred towards the West. Overall, I think that Perseus as a whole is an organization that looms over the world, and one that can cause true damage. It's long-standing, and it has a rich history of killers in power. Could we see Perseus having their hands in a lot more than we think in the world of Call of Duty? we just might see Black Ops 6 answer that specific question.